Tom Pidcock. Wins on Alp Huez as a 40 liters The Guardian. Tom Pidcock becomes the youngest ever winner on the top of Alp Huez in his first Tour de France, his first Tour stage victory as well and in a stunning ride. He won solo as well with Chris Froome third. The two of them crossed from the yellow jersey group to the breakaway and Tom was one of the driving forces of the breakaway, especially on the descents reaching speeds of 100 kph. Tom then attacked the breakaway a long way down Alp Huez but he never looked in danger with a victory margin of almost a minute on the second place rider Tom, I guess that stage win at Alp Huez for my first Tour de France, it's not bad. The idea was to get in the breakaway. I lost enough time yesterday to have some freedom, after the Galabier, I got away on the descent, knowing that no one would take the risk to follow me. Chris Froome did. It was pretty nice getting across with him. We work well together. He's a legend. Maybe he's not as fast as he was but he's still Chris Froome. It worked out perfectly to break away with him. This win is certainly my best moment since cycling, with people's flags. You, can't experience that. Anywhere else than at Le Pouez on a race. Tom Pidcock took his first Tour de France victory at the age of 22 as he became the second Briton to win at Le Pouez, four years after Geraint Thomas on the last visit of the race to the ski resort of the Oisins. He arrived solo to the top before South Africa's Louis Maintges while Chris Froome rounded out the podium, on his big return to the front scene of the Tour de France. Pidcock becomes the youngest winner at Le Pouez before Lucho Herrera, who was 23 when he scored the first ever Tour de France stage victory for Colombia. Jonas Vinjagaard retained the male at John. Despite two strong attacks by Tadej Pogacar riders started stage 12 in Brian Anson and 159 Nielsen Paulus was the first attacker of the day. He was joined by Nelson Oliveira, Anthony